Good morning everyone, this is another short tutorial on how to use layers uh, in Inkscape. Layers, if you don't know what it, what it is, I'm just going to press play on this video on YouTube which I'll include in the link in the description. I'm sure you recognize this, this is tracing paper that the architect is using to uh, draw different elements of his design onto uh, and something that he can remove, uh, amend, and I'm sure this is this is something you've used during your design training, um, where you can use one piece of tracing paper to uh, put your paths on, another piece of tracing paper to put your plants. So layers in uh, Inkscape work uh, the same. So if we turn Inkscape on now, and navigate to uh, the plants master so this is something that you download off of my blog and if you open that up um, you see all the elements and uh, what you can do with all these elements is you will notice that they are on different layers now to go to the um, layers dialog box uh, you can use the keyboard shortcut shift control L or you can go to the menu and you'll find the layer menu and go to the very bottom and hit layers and that will open this this dialog box so the template comes already layered so there's there's various layers there and to um, to add more layers, uh, there's button. There's a button. There's a plus button below here, and it will help you create a new layer, a new layer, and it gives you the choice of above current, below current, or sub layer. I usually just put above current. So my current layer is base. Uh, it's it's here. I'm I'm in the base layer now, so it's as if I was sitting on them on my map. And by putting above current here and adding the new layer is created above the base. Now I don't need this layer, so I can remove it. Uh, before I remove it, I'll play around with it. There's there's these buttons here which allow me to um, to send it above uh, above or below layers. Uh, this uh, may become le uh, relevant to you later. I can send it all the way to the bottom, I can send it all the way to the top, and I can delete it with the minus sign. So now it's gone. So the um, the reason we have layers is because um, we can group similar objects together. And as you can see, I've, I've named all my layers so that uh, so I know what to put where. Base is just for my map planting area is is where I put all the all the areas I will I will be putting the plants in access is is all my paths all my roads structure is is um, could be a shed could be a chicken coop could be um, could be a, a herb spiral plants this is obvious and then labels so I like to actually uh, put the names of the plants and the structures right on top of them and uh, this is just how I do it. I'll explain it later why I do it like that. And obviously the uh, the scale symbol which you've show, which you've seen be, uh, beforehand, and the um, and the name of the designer uh, is is what I what I put on my uh, labels layer. So uh, why are so the other reason why the uh, layers are so useful is because you can switch them, switch the visibility of them on or off. So if I switch the visibility off of the labels, you can see now that the uh, labels are disappearing. and And I'll show you, and I'll show you how this is relevant. If I um, if I zoom in at these uh, plant elements here, if I want to highlight just my plants I can't do it because the um, because the, the the labels are actually in the way 
and so if I highlight everything now I have to move everything and, and that will spoil my design so what I can do because because my labels are already on the uh, labels layer I can switch them off and because they're invisible now I can't highlight them so if I if I move these plants now and I switch my labels back on you see that the labels have stayed in the same place so this is this is the main reason uh, for this is this is one of the main reasons for keeping uh, elements on separate on, on separate layers that you can you can modify just the um, just the kinds of um, of elements that um, that you're working on so we're going to press Control Z and that will get me back to where I was. So that's it. This is this is the main reason to want to to keep layers. Um, if you have any questions, uh, obviously post it in the in the comments. Um, what else could I show you about the the layers right now? Um, what I can do is I'll just show you uh, how it looks like in the finished design. So I'm just going to close this and reopen this one and I'm going to go to layers so now now we're in a you know finished design and if i switch off the labels here you can see that it's much easier for me to take one plant element and, and move it about um, if i want to modify this path as you can see all these plant elements are in the way so I can again switch off my my plant elements and uh, now it's much easier for me to to modify just the path if I just want to work on the path I can also switch off my planting areas and structure I see I've got my um, my grass as as axis as well uh, that's how I that's how I set this up so you could create another layer if you just want to have grass area on on a separate separate layer you can do it we could do it now actually so we have access I could create another layer and I could call it grass one second grass and I'll put it above current add it and if I highlight this shift click on the other one and I'll take my layer menu and move selection to layer grass move and this is how you move elements this is what I wanted to show you there we go so now this is this is on grass and I can just look at the axis and that's it uh, if I want to see the base obviously I can see the base and um, in this way um, this way I have visibility of, of, of what I'm drawing um, so yeah let me let me show you again how to move between layers and that will be the end of this tutorial uh, if I take my structure element take uh, go to the layer menu and you can either move it uh, to layer above layer below or move to layer and this is what I use the most because it uh, comes up with this handy um, pop-up menu and this way I can I can move it between layers I can move it to the axis layer so I'll just move it temporarily there and now uh, now this piece of structure is in my axis which is wrong for my uh, for for how I arrange things but if I switch off the axis this is this is gone as well so I switch it back on this is still highlighted so I'm just going to move it back to the correct layer which is structure move it there and so now and so now um, all my elements are in the correct correct layers and if I switch things back on you can see that there's that they're appearing plants canopy and layers and labels so that's it for today um, let me know if I've missed something uh, again as a recap to switch on the uh, layers uh, dialog box you can just go to layer 
and at the very bottom there's the uh, layers option and that will just switch it on or off and to to add to subtract there's the plus and minus button to move layers up or down so it's just like moving your tracing paper up or down so you can take your one one piece of tracing paper and put it on top of the other and you can switch them about um, so that's that's how layers work and they 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 allow you to organize your elements so the same kinds of elements you can you can keep on one layer and then you can switch the layer on or off and you can also lock them this is another thing I forgot to show you you can lock layers and what that means this this lo little lock pad here you can lock unlock uh, what that means is that because I've locked my grass because I've locked this I haven't locked the structure so I can move it about but I can't move the grass I can't move the path and I can't move the base map so this is another way to another thing that is very useful very quick to use in terms of layers control Z I can unlock unlock my layers and I can and I can move things about again so control Z I can move the grass again control Z so that's it um, let me know if this is helpful and uh, if you have any questions post them below thank you very much and see you next time